Thanks for joining us for another edition of the Creek Catch-Up. As per normal, there's always plenty happening. We've got 11 races this Saturday night, and overall it looks a really well-balanced program. One of the highlights is going to be Hot and Treacherous, who goes around in race number four, second up, Unplaced last week, chasing home, turn it up. Far from disappointing, he drops in grade, but he's got to overcome a tricky draw, the inside of the second row. That's one of the highlights. One of the other highlights is going to be the three-year-old race because many of these horses are gearing up towards our carnival features. So we've got Oaks and Derby prospects stepping out in race number 10. But all in all, it's a really good program kicking off just after five o'clock. We've had a busy week here at the Creek. Standalone trial session on Monday and several stars stepped out. Probably none bigger than the Albion Park track record holder, Black Sedans. He was able to win his trial. He scored narrowly, yet he was impressive. He was forced to do his fair share of work over the concluding stages. And he was able to score narrowly, beating Auntie Bella, who backs up on Saturday night. So he was one of the stars. Cat King Cole returned to the, uh, the trial action on Monday. She was able to score in that trial. There was a little bit of interference going down the back. So a few other big name performers like Captain Shuffles and Danger Zone, they copped uh, interference. So a little inconclusive uh, gauging their efforts from that trial. So they're probably going to go around at the trials again in the next week or two before they resume. So we'll keep an eye out for them. And just from the trotters, Van Sank, we know he's a multiple feature race winner. He was awesome winning a trial. He won by a really big space and looked pretty sharp there over the concluding stages for Team Raboki. Adam Sanderson took the drive there. Now, now, at the trials on Friday, we had several stars step out. Uh, we'll talk more about that trial session next week, but uh, things are starting to hot up. And just looking ahead to next week, probably the best mare in Queensland right now, without doubt, is Uptown Beach Girl for Donnie and Maureen Smith. She'll be back at the trials next week. As we know, she's getting set for a number of features coming up during the carnival. They're eyeing off the Group 1 Golden Girl. They've got the Fleur de Lille. There's a few other races, so she's going to be back at the trials next week. Now, back in 20, who won on Tuesday afternoon... Uh, for Sean and Michelle Grimsey, it looks like his future lies in North America. There is a plane load of horses leaving early May, and he's expected to be on that flight uh, back in 20. Just going back to last Saturday night, we had the APG Gold Bullion Finals. Uh, really good performers all around. Speak the Truth was awesome. Miss Fru Fru taking the three-year-old. And the two two-year-old winners, they're both going to go to Sydney and have another shot at the uh, the next round of APG action down there. So Iron Clad, who won the Colts and Geldings final for Grant and Trista Dixon, he's going to head south. And more sass for Team Raboki, Adam Sanderson, also likely to go south. So we'll uh, cheer on those horses when they step out in the next uh, week or so. A couple of new horses arriving here in Queensland. Funny Face is a trotter. It comes to Queensland, comes from the North Island of New Zealand. Uh, also, Golden Fire, uh, set to join the stables of Graham Dwyer. Artie's Flash. Now, this is a three-year-old that we're going to hear a lot more about. Previ uh, previously with Stonewall Stud in New Zealand, joins the stables of Chantel Turpin and Pete McMullen. So he's here for a Queensland derby mission, so we'll be watching out for him with interest. And also, just uh, mentioning back in 20 likely to go to North America, Wahakan Dream for Leonard and Ben. Beth Kane, who was a scratching last Saturday night. She has been sold and she is definitely heading to North America. So we'll watch with interest over there. Shout out to Kelly Dawson, who celebrated a birthday during the week. And a big shout out to the Harness Racing Ownership Group with the Galloper Smitzer, who was able to win at the Sunshine Coast last Friday night. Trained by BJ Smith. There's a lot of harness racing connections involved in the ownership of Smitzer. And he was able to register his first win for the new ownership group. And just in closing out, happy birthday to Nana Ree. She's got the race named after her, in which her promising filly starts on Saturday night. Madrigal, she was a runaway winner on Wednesday. Wednesday night, so many happy returns to Nana Reese there, and Vale Jack Ring, Jack of course the father of Rickliff Harness Racing Club President Bernie Ring, so condolences certainly going to Bernie and the family following the passing of Jack recently. So that's all the news as far as Albion Park is concerned, we'll see a trackside on Saturday night, 11 races starting just after 5 o'clock. Nah, one take. That's all we do. Oh, there we go. I've seen that.